すみません。日本語が話せません。なので、英語で話します。I'm very delighted to be here today in Japan, home of technology. As you can all hear to my accent, I'm coming from France. But I really like technology and what it can bring to people. Alias, we don't care where technology comes from, we are interested in the future it can bring. Today, we have shown you the future, something that will change the way we live, think, and work. We have joined forces with SoftBank to create this new ground. And we have established a new category of artificial beings with the interactive humanoid robots able to read your emotions, Pepper. And thanks to Pepper, the future begins today. We did it because it was our goal and because we have met with Masa-san. Masa, who believes in the same vision as we do and who has given us the wings to fly faster on our chosen path. So I will explain you our shared vision so you can understand why we are here today. I started creating robots about 35 years ago, and I founded Aldebaran in 2005. Aldebaran, the name of my company, Aldebaran, you said in Japanese. It's coming from the name of a star. You know, stars are at the same time the future, science, even hard science, but also dream, poetry, pureness, as well as new territories to conquer. Aldebaran. Aldebaran is today the world leader in humanoid robotics. Prestigious universities such as MIT, Stanford, or Tokyo University have bought our first companion robot now. And there are more than 5,000 of these now robots used in 70 countries for critical areas such as research, education, or help to autistic kids. We started with our vision. And this vision is different from the one of other companies. I believe that the most important role for robots is to be as companion to people, enhancing their daily lives, bringing them happiness, helping them growing. It's a new concept. We've created this new concept and we call it emotional robot. And this concept turned us world leader. Pepper is a perfect example of this concept, of these emotional robots. And it will add a new dimension in our daily lives and change the way we are interacting with technology. Actually, our robots are many things at the same time. They are the ultimate interface. They are cute companions and they can evolve. As the ultimate interface, there are robots that can choose the appropriate way to interact with you, by voice, by body language, or by emotions. How did we do that? On top of standard voice recognition systems, we have created an emotional engine based on an algorithm who can understand facial expression, gesture, and even voice tones. It allows to give robots such as Pepper an idea about your mood and then appropriate in the correct, uh, sorry, and then react in the correct way, appropriate way. And on top of speech technologies, we have invented a system to provide our robots with body language and expressivity. So now, by combining the two of them, we've created a perfectly natural interactor, perfectly intuitive interactions, 
This is the ultimate interface. Then, as a cute engineering companion, our robots are robots that people want to have at home. They are cute, they find them cute, nice, they want them at home. How have we done that? The design. The design is at the essence of our development. We have worked incredibly hard to create a look that would trigger positive emotions to people. And the design of the applications is as essential in order to bring accessibility and friendliness. And the design of the movements too, you have seen the movements of paper, very, very cute, very smooth, very, very important to bring friendliness and acceptability. But our robots are not just friendly, they are truly genuine. Ethics is at the core of our company's value. We are committed to protection of personal data and to respect for privacy and the environment as much as technology allows us. Finally, there are robots autonomous and who can evolve. It's important to have robots evolving because our robots are not just technological products. They are quite like new species, new artificial beings able to evolve, to learn, and to become more and more surprising every day. How, how have we do that? Through our application store, users and robots can download new applications, enabling the robot to evolve. By the way, I'm inviting all the developers, animators, sound designer, very important the sound design, and, and uh, graphic designer, to join us, to take advantage of our fantastic humanoid operating system. We are opening very soon what we are calling Atelier, Aldebaran Atelier, where people can, where developers and people can meet with the robot, experience this robot and this new concept, and have all the developers getting together to share and help each other. We will have different ateliers, Aldebaran Atelier, one in Paris very soon, and just after, two in Tokyo, in Omotesando and in Ak Akihabara. And just after, in September, we will have a developer conference to explain in detail our robots and all the programming tools we are providing. So now you can see the next steps. Think about it. With cute robots, so cute that people want them at home. Very easy to interact with, and which are connected to the internet. Wow, robots everywhere at home, easy to interact with and connected to the internet. Wow, look at this potential we are opening. Many things can be done to improve education, healthcare, entertainment, floor management, you name it. A huge community of people and companies will join this adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, robots like Pepper are adding a new dimension in our daily lives. Well, they will change it with the same magnitude than the PC, internet, or mobile phones did in the past. Remember the first mobile phones, very heavy, and how smart and light they are now. The same story will repeat again with robotics. Of course, it's the beginning of the story. Of course, our robots are not yet as smart and interactive as in the movies. Not yet. It's the beginning of the story, but it's already a reality. It's a promising reality. Thanks to Pepper, the future begins today. Thank you.